Sparksy, quite an ending to that game. I don't think I've ever seen a game quite like it, but to pop up and score the winner, amazing. Yeah, it was, um, it was great at the end in front of all the, all the fans in the big bank. Um, but that's what we've done the, ca the past kind of few games. Um, we've dug in until the end and, and managed to nick goals late on. Obviously the first half disappointing. I think we can all agree it was a below par performance and uncharacteristic defensively. But actually we stuck in at the end and, and we really had a never say die attitude. Yeah, I think you summed up perfectly there. Um, we weren't great in the first half. Um, the change of shape kind of helped us out. Um, and, and then I thought we actually had the better chances. Um, they had a couple chances, but, but we were probably right to be coming in losing that game. Um, but we've got such a strong squad, you know, players coming off the bench, um, really affecting the game. Josh, Gramsie, um and Tim, so, so we felt we were always in the game. Giovanni's penalty gave us a lifeline at half-time, obviously. Then to go 3-1 down, did it sort of feel like all the hard work had, had sort of not gone down the drain, but you know, must have been a bit deflated for that third goal? Yeah, um, you know, from a set-piece as well, we work, we work on our set-pieces um, two, three times a week. So to concede a set-piece um, is obviously disappointing. That's something we pride ourselves on. Um, but like I said, we, we got back in the game with two attacking set pieces. Um, so yeah, we're happy. Actually, the, the second goal, Tim Dieng, I'm trying to think of what we've just watched. Um, we sort, sort of scored that, I think, possibly at the perfect time. Yeah, um, you know, any goal at that, at that time, um, especially at home, is going to put pressure on the opposition. And, and that's what we did. They started to drop back a bit and, and we had a lot more of the ball and, and then had the momentum. Never mind, it was Groundsley that scored the second and Tim with Groundsley, the third. There yeah. we go. Um, it's all just a blur, really. That chance at the end, then for you, we saw you, you know, drop, drop on the shoulder, and then obviously it just curled top corner, and the whole place just the roof blew off. Yeah, I actually, I think it was Leighton Orient at home, maybe or a couple of games ago. I cut in on my left, uh, onto my right, I did the same, but I tried it with my right, and it didn't didn't quite come off. So I thought to myself, next time uh, I get a chance, I'm going to bat my left foot and and use the outside of my foot and thankfully it you know, flew in. And obviously it's the second home match in a row now we've scored a stoppage time winner. Czech Diabate's last week was 93, yours 95. It just shows the real you know, belief that it, the players really have at the moment. Yeah, you know, we're, I think that, that put us up to third now. Yeah. So um, I think that speaks for itself. The last four or five games, six games, we've really hit a good run of form. Um, probably at a good time as well. I think we've got 16 games left um, now, so hopefully we can push on and Carry, carry that going. You obviously had to be quite patient this season. You had your injury early on. You had the loan spell at Torquay, but you've come back. You've, you know, found your place back in the team, and you've really grabbed the opportunity. Yeah, I think um, I needed to go out on loan at Torquay at the time. Um, uh, you know, I really enjoyed my time there um, with Gary Johnson and, and Downsy. Um, you know, it gave me a lot of confidence again, um, having missed three, four months of football. I needed to go to somewhere where I could play and, and just be able to build my confidence again. So credit to them, they, they helped me help me out a lot with that. Um, but yeah, I'm back now and you know I'm looking to, to push for a first team place um, every game. But you know, Jake Caprice, Josh Key are doing outstanding at, at the moment, you know, they, they, they deserve to play. Um, but hopefully, you know, good performances and, and you know, goals maybe like tonight might might help me stake a claim in my position. But you're perhaps giving Matt Taylor quite a, a difficult headache yeah it's a good headache I don't think it's just me it's his other players that are on the bench as well um, Groundsy coming on Alex who hasn't even been in the, the squad today um, you know the lads have got to train well um, everyone has players that are in the team out the team no matter what you've got to train well and, and you know give, give the gaffer a headache and obviously for parts of that game it's a new look defence we Czech Diabate went off, Sam Stubbs went off injured. and So it was a lot of defensive players that perhaps haven't had as many minutes as, as others together at the end. Yeah, um, and you know, credit to Sweeney, we said it all in the changing room there, where um, it was one of, one of the best games we probably, he's probably had in Exeter City shirt. Um, you know, he was, I don't think anyone got past him, he didn't lose a header. Um, so no, credit to him. Um, he, he kept everyone together, um, especially in that back line, and, and, and was unbelievable tonight. Obviously, like you said, we're up to third. Momentum just seems to just keep going at the moment. And, and another home game on Saturday is another perfect opportunity to just keep the run going. Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, tonight's happened now. Um, as happy as we are, we can't get too high. Um, so we, we, hit, we hit Saturday um, as usual. Sparksy, thanks very much. Uh, Thank you. You can go to bed with a smile on your face tonight. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. That's a picture.
Oh, yeah, that's not right, isn't it? Can we have that's that okay. one? Can we put that one up, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> wow.